What's up Lion Golf Academy members and guests, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at Anthony Kim's swing because he's the talk of the town. And for those that don't know who Anthony Kim is, he hasn't been around for about 12 years. But before that, he came into the league with a vengeance with his big flashy AK belt and left just as quick as he came in. Now there's plenty of YouTube videos out there talking about why he left and all the insurance issues with that. But go and look for those. But today's video is about his golf swing to because I believe this is one of the best golf swings out there that latches on to some fundamentals of Tiger Woods' swing, which is maybe why Nike picked him up, but you can learn a lot about this swing, and I want you to watch the whole video to see how he hits this golf ball and some of the things I would like for you to maybe try in your golf swing. If you do like this type of content, hit that like, sub, share, comment. If you want to go a step above, we have channel membership starting at 99 cents, and that money goes straight to the Children in the Halo Hood Foundation in Cape Flat, South Africa, and also I give online golf instruction. Link is in the description below, but enough of that hogwash. Let's take a look at the great AK Flashy Bell swing himself. Okay, we have the great Anthony Kim on the screen and we're just gonna watch this swing over and over again. And I want you to look at that footwork. I want you to look at how he drives correctly, maintains his posture throughout his swing, keeps that club out in front of his chest, does not have a long arm swing. And this is the key to his consistent results, immense power that he produces. And he doesn't use that club length like most of us try to do. A little quick story, I played golf with him. I was fortunate to play with him in 2002 at a US Open qualifying when he was 16 years old and I watched this man shoot 66 and it was the most boring round of golf he didn't miss a fairway didn't miss a green and made plenty of putts so this man is the real deal as we saw him in 2008 when he was Ole versus LA and just defeated Sergio made him look like a child but let's look at the swing breakdown and which watch and learn how we can emulate some of these motions to help you hit the ball a little bit better okay so one of the first things I want you to look at is just the setup it just looks very athletic there's no standing up there's no need down it looks like his posture is in the right angle so if we draw this in green we're going to draw that spine angle right through on the left side of the screen on the right side i want you to look at where that shaft is connected we're going to keep that there throughout the swing and we're going to show you let's make that a little bit longer actually because i want to show you how it relates to his spine angle based on this setup so the reason why we're not doing a usual cause and effect video with this swing is because it is almost perfect and it relates around his setup now you'll notice that he does grip down in the shaft he has done that ever since he was a kid and i believe it had something to do with the club lengths as he played as a child they were too long so he learned to grip it down but it worked in his favor he keeps that club shorter and he produces more distance by keeping the club shorter so if we look at that back brace line on the left side we'll also draw a little green line there for his back brace line we'll also look at the way his head moves and we'll do this in barney purple let's shift it up a little bit we put a little Barney purple line here now the camera on the right side is not exactly face on and it does judder around this is before tripods this is before social media well just as social media is getting started so we don't have the social media influences like we do today but let's take a look at the overall head motion so what we see on the right side of the screen is not only is he going down but he's moving his whole head to the right his right our left and what he's doing is he's loading up that weight on that right leg now if we go back to the start we're going to keep that line remember he is connecting that club head straight through to his hands right to the center of his chest there is no forward pressing out there ladies and gentlemen so don't forward press because it just creates havoc for the amateur golfer you're trying to cheat the system it's not going to work this is the setup that i really want you to try and emulate because watch what happens with that motion slightly getting to the weight on the right side he's storing up that the power in the right leg and watch at the top of his swing where is his spine angle his spine angle is matching his original setup so there's less manipulation that has to occur what you see as well is look at the amount of shoulder turn he has he has an immense amount of shoulder turn let's draw this one in red we got that red shoulder turn to match his red shirt and we can see that club shaft is nowhere near parallel it doesn't even get to his T so a T we see sometimes we see the arms getting back here where they get past parallel but this is a huge advantage for him because now he is more connected to his body and all he needs to do is return back to his impact position spine angle and drive that force that he has created with his lower body so let's look at the right side of the screen still let's take away those two red lines and watch that drive so the head is going to stay where it is you see how there's no motion left towards his target with his head but what's moving left 
is his hips are moving left. And why is his hips moving left? Because he stored up the power on this leg. So this leg now is going to turn and it's going to drive that hip towards the target, which allows him to drop that right shoulder on the left side of the screen. And the right shoulder is going to work its way down. But along with that, as right as he gets down to impact, watch that right leg. That right leg now straightens and releases all that power. Here's impact. Let's clear up these red lines. And let's take a look at, guess what? He is still in his spine angle. And guess where that spine angle stemmed from? from you got it it's the setup so setup is everything that ball position is perfect that spine angle was perfect all he did was turn and turn with a little bit of weight transfer he is very much like tiger they get that weight moving to the right side they stay right and they tilt by driving their hips left towards the target and then they turn once you see the release look at this release here where are the hands in the chest still in front of the chest we have a nice long extension because he is turning and pushing and with that he has a lot of room to release that club naturally look at that triangle right hand goes over the left to complete the release hands are still in front of the chest so he can always connect that triangle even past to here we can still see that beautiful triangle is still pretty connected to his chest so this is why his swing is so successful and i don't think you will see any change 12 years later, we're going to see an older Anthony Kim, and I'm pretty sure he's still played some golf, and I'm pretty sure he's still athletic, and I'm pretty sure he has that same motion in him. We know that swings do not really change over time. Only your body affects your natural motions. So let's go back. Let's take a look at the left side of the screen now, and let's look at, let's look at some plane action and how the plane works. So we'll draw this in red, and we're going to look at that secondary plane line. Now, typically, that's where we see arms more involved to get that arm up there, but what you'll see what happened here is so look at the hands see how the hands ride up that plane line club is going just slightly underneath that plane line this could be a camera angle too but you get the gist of it look at his hands they're right on that plane line as we take that club back he is still guess where his hands are still connected to the center of his chest and he does that because he starts there as we get to the top of the swing here you can see how the head is going down right so there's that head going down he is storing the weight down in that right foot along with the right side of the screen here here, along with that motion to the right side so this is very much like throwing the ball you want to throw a ball from right to left you don't want to throw a ball from left to right because that creates some issues as well you have to try and compensate that with some upper body motions now you will notice that that left arm appears slightly lower from this upper plane line but that again has to do with keeping those hands out in front of the chest he is not letting those hands and arms go back further to try and steal distance he is actually creating more potential distance by keeping his hands in front of his chest and keeping them relatively short compared to what we see now so here's the key what we're going to do is we're going to draw a triangle where his triangle is and we're going to look at how the hand path needs to work its way down right in between that triangle we're going to draw a second line let's see what color we haven't used we're going to use orange we're going to draw that orange line right down to the golf ball i want you to look at how things work from here so we're going to take it frame by frame left side of the screen there's one frame there's two frames what's happening to the hands you see how the hands are going down that yellow line it's set up for him already now because his hands are lower it's closer to that lower plane line he has still stored up his power now he's releasing that power he's turning down into the golf ball watch what happens to the club it falls on that lower plane line the orange line will play its part at impact because look at this hands are now connected on that lower plane line the club is also connected to that lower plane line as he strikes that golf ball guess where his club shaft is it's going in between that orange line and that red line look where the hands are right in between so there's so little deviation going on here there's so little that he has to undo because of compensatory motions there's very little wrong with this swing which is why he came out of nowhere and started winning tournaments beat sergio in the Ryder cup was making commercials wearing that big ak flashy belt because he could he has a very simple swing but it's very very effective and to double down on this let's draw where his triangle is at impact right there and let's do that same in yellow so we don't confuse people out here we're going to draw the triangle there and what do you notice about that triangle path look at how straight it is bam look at that it's perfectly straight it's pulling from where it started to where it finished so it's 
going in a nice straight line there's no deviation and how did you do that because he set up correctly ball position was good hand placement was connected to his chest he's still pulling that club shaft down with his body while he stays connected now it looks very easy but it is a hard thing to do because you have to be so strong in your core you have to have the right body structure in terms of the ratio how long are your arms how long are your legs how short or long is your torso so it's not very easy to do but the thing i want you to focus on is that setup because setup is everything if you have a weird setup guess what your golf swing is going to be it's going to be kind of weird it's going to be full of compensatory motions to make you hit the golf ball correctly okay one more check for us to look at let's look at that shoulder tilt at the top of his swing and see how much he actually moves down into it as you strike that golf ball right after impact let's see that shoulder tilt number and that number is just shy of 20 degrees so that's right in that wheelhouse we're looking at 15 to 20 degrees and if you see something different let's say you see it less tilt or you see it dramatic tilt that means your ball placement is off compared to the center of your chest and you have to figure something out and remember that tilt does not come from him forcing that right shoulder down it comes from this angle here now this is where he's driving his hips that drive here with his head staying back allows his right shoulder to work its way down naturally so you have to keep your head steady and the way into the golf ball and drive your hips forward and that will rock your spine angle correctly but again he doesn't have to do that much because if you look at that starting position there's his starting tilt and let's go down to his impact tilt pretty close for government work hands are connected truly connected swing this is a swing that i wish I could just teach everybody because everybody will play the game so much better but unfortunately it does take a body a certain style and definitely some strength so if you're not doing your sit-ups do some sit-ups do some leg ups go for a run whatever you need to do but do me a favor and start watching anthony kim because he is back and the ak belt is flashy so if you do like this hit that like share subscribe comment whatever you want to do to help support the channel it really helps us grow but other than that i will see you next week fairways and greens